Well, my colleague Daniel Henry has been following the story and joins us now. Daniel, first of all, explain this nationalities bill to us. Well, it's essentially the government's uh, policy, their big program for nationality, asylum and immigration. And it's a package of measures which is designed to do three things. One is to make the system fairer. Two, to deter illegal entry to the UK, specifically targeting people smugglers. And it's also there to remove people from the UK who the government say shouldn't be here. Um, even though this bill is passed now, um, it's, it's an act of parliament, the questions around it haven't. They're still hanging around. You know, the, this point about making the system fairer, well, we've seen recent schemes set up to support people from Afghanistan, Syria and Ukraine um, who are fleeing war. But those haven't been, similar schemes haven't been extended to African countries. So there are question marks there. The bill being designed to deter illegal entry. Well, regular viewers of this program have seen our piece from Calais with people telling me that it's not going to stop them from trying to get to the UK. So, you know, there are still lots of questions hanging around uh, so this nationality how, how bill. How will this nationalities and immigration bill, how will mm. it affect those, for instance, trying to come in from Africa? So, the issue is, is that if you are trying to claim asylum from, from an African country or, or anywhere else, the situation is that you need to be in Britain in order to process your claim. You can't make it from wherever you are. So, campaigners look at that and say, well, okay. perhaps that means that's why people are trying to get to the, um, to the country okay. through these I, kind okay. of I, I need to get one in quickly because we're running out of time now. Um, very quickly, what's this legal challenge, potential legal challenge that might come up? Yep, legal challenge against this uh, UK to Rwanda deal, essentially looking at, is it, is it fair, is it unlawful? And the campaigners say it's not. Okay, thank you very much. Daniel Henry there, my colleague. Thank you.